in New Orleans. Football is a celebration. It's the Dawn Patrol. And Drew Brees lifting a city out of despair to stand together as a community. These are the Saints. It's about elevation in the ATL. It's the flight of Tony G. The Dirty Birds. And Dion High stepping to pay dirt. To rise up to the challenge. These are the Falcons. Here we are at the Georgia Dome for this matchup between the New Orleans Saints and the Atlanta Falcons. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims. We have two teams today desperately want to beat one another. It has turned into one of the great rivalry matchups around the entire National Football League. And how do you see it go for the kickoff? I'll just say it this way. I don't think they like each other a whole lot. So that, that always makes for more exciting football, and we're going to see how it plays out. Pleased to bring in the third member of our broadcast team, Danielle Bellini, with the report from the sidelines. Thanks, guys. As you both know, history is a big part of every divisional matchup in the NFL. So even though there's a lot of roster turnover year to year in the league, both sides here today still recognize that any divisional game ratchets up the passion on the field. And guys, today should be no different. So expect a very physical game. Back to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. to go looking to the right side and throwing nice tackle this play set up by the long gainer and he's going to be brought down Breeze is going to take it from the shotgun stands in the pocket to Jimmy Graham in the secondary what a catch Anytime you give a quarterback that kind of time, he's going to get comfortable, get his feet under him, be relaxed. Second and, and goal to go from the one. The give touchdown. takes it across, and he's in for the touchdown. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate. But Second for ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Scores the touchdown. First and ten. The defense gets a sack, so that's going the to Falcons. do it for the first half. Saints are up in this one, which is brought to you by Verizon. back here now in this one where the Saints lead by 14. Let's go back to the sidelines. Danielle Bellini has the latest. I got a chance to speak with Coach McDonald at halftime. Jim, with the lead here at the half, he was feeling good about how things had gone to this point. He said, I think we're Ryan's doing a good gonna job. take it from the gun. Tony Gonzalez with the hole. They got a first down now after that catch. He's looking long. And he's intercepted. To a halt. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. And Sproles gets the football. He's going to be tackled right around the 42-yard line. Boy, Darren Sproles can do it all. You know, we know he can return, he can catch passes and make big plays. 
But how about that run that time? The quickness and the speed to get down the field. The slot receiver. Third down and five. What a oh, piece so of running by goal to go. Leading on that running attack again here. On Touchdown in the late stages. Well, Jim, with that touchdown this late in the game, that ices it. And if you could sing, you could, uh, I'd let you say it's turn out the lights, but we know you can't sing. So the game is over. This game's come to an end. All that animosity. All that hatred, all the buildup, and in the end, it was a win that was a one-sided affair. Yeah, it was in all sides. Everything you looked at, they got out hit today. And they weren't as physical. They were not smart on the field. Even the design of what they were trying to do, the managing of the game, that was wrong on the coaching side. Just one awful effort. This incredible play is the GMC never say never moment of the game. For Bill Simpson, all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long.